Lindsay Anderson. Lindsay Anderson is 29, grew up in Iowa. She was the first in her high school at 17 to join the National Guard, thinking it would be an adventure in life and an opportunity to travel. This was before 9-11, and she recalls when she was in physics class in high school that her life would change drastically from that day on. She was deployed to Iraq in 2003, and she stated they knew very little about what would happen then and did not know that she was going to Baghdad until they were in the air in flight going there. That is the first time she saw grown men cry. She was assigned to, to food, but had nothing to do with food since it was contracted out to special service employees from KBR or Halliburton. In her spare time, she would collect objects she found that were left over from Desert Storm, and the objects were cataloged, papers, bayonets, and sent them back home. It was a, a lesson in history that she was contemplating, which set up her pathways to art as a collection of history. The humanism of the area that she was in, a new world to her, which was a lesson from the old world. She decided to open herself up to them and learn compassion of the other human beings. By so doing, she took her magazine out of her rifle so that they knew she had trust of them. She befriended them more than the fellow soldiers. There were only seven women and 60 men ratio, so she was in the service since she was no longer special. Coming back to regular life was difficult because she had dealt with life-death situations and her fellow students did not experience the fragility of life that she had. She has gone into art history with a master's at NYU. She works at the Rubin Museum in Manhattan and is an educator for art for those with disabilities and wishes to start a program for veterans at the museum. She is now taking a leadership education program at Bank Street School for Education to get another master's degree. All of her education she has gotten on her own and she is one of the honored scholarship winners of the Pat Tillman Fund, a special fund set up by the widow of Pat Tillman, an NFL star who joined the military and was killed in action. The winners of the scholarship fund are considered the elite of the veterans.